Okay, so today we're going to do a review on the uh, the mount up TV monitor and it's gonna be for this. This is a 32 inch monitor that I have on my desk. I use it for a lot of video editing. Anyway, there's a stand here. As you can see, it curves. And, um, and here's the center tube where the mount is. I wanna be able to like slide my electronics here and have this all clear. So what I'm going to do is mount this to the wall with the mount. And um, I'm gonna show you how to mount this to a wall, which is right behind here at Sheetrock. So I'm gonna take this away. We're gonna put the mount in with anchors and, um, and get this monitor mounted to the wall. So I can swivel it. Probably not gonna be able, probably not gonna use the swivel mechanism. I just want it up against the wall and uh, I want this stand out of the way. So I'm gonna show you, uh, let's start by opening the box. This inside. All right, so it's in a few pieces. I'm probably gonna mount it in different steps. So here's the wall mount. This is gonna go against the wall. This is gonna mount to the monitor, hopefully. And here's hardware. They looks like they did these screws for many different types of applications. The mounting holes on different monitors are different, so they give you a few different types of screws. Hopefully this will work. Uh, they give you a little wrench and some big mama screws, but I'm gonna use some anchors that I have myself, a little Velcro strap, a little monitor wing. Okay, this is uh, probably, could be an adapter that goes on this, we'll find out. And then uh, the instructions, and there's a level. Actually, uh, I guess you can use this to, uh, as you're mounting this on the wall, you want it to be level. I know that's exaggerating at a level. This way when it swings, it'll stay uh, in, in its right position. And um, so here are the basic instructions. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the uh, instructions. I'm gonna read this off camera and then uh, we'll continue with the installation. Put this out. By the way, this is an LG computer monitor, 32 inch, and uh, that's the label there. So first thing we're gonna do is take the mount off, and I believe I'm just gonna have to pull that and lift it out, okay? Okay, so here we go. Here's the monitor that's face up face up, I took the mount off, and it's interesting, it has a, a very narrow, kind of like four by four inch place to mount. It doesn't have the extended holes like some other TVs have, like the TCLs. So um, we're going to put this mount up on it. See the hooks here? There's hooks. So these hooks, this is facing up, and um, here's the mount. So we're gonna put the mount on the wall like this. And if you look in here, there's an arrow up. And then, you know, this is also a tip off. You want the, the logo facing up. So we're gonna mount this vertically on the wall like this. We have a, um, a regular screw hole there. And then we have a slightly wider one here. So if you're a little off with putting the screw holes in, you can move it left or right to level it properly and then tighten the screw in. And then, um, so after I took the, uh, the floor mount or the table mount off this, there are four screws underneath. See them here? So I'm gonna take this out and this lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna take these screws out, put these in, tighten the babies up, okay? And then we'll have the mount on this ready and then 
uh, back on this, we are going to, let me show you how this looks on. Set this here. Okay. So imagine this is on the monitor. This, um, so here's the monitor, here's the wall mount. The monitor is going to go like this and hook on and then slide down and we're gonna take these screws out, right? And then we're gonna screw those in after this slides out. So we're gonna take these two screws out and um, this way it's ready to mount. Now, here's an alternative. If your monitor has mounting holes that are more spread out, they have these extenders and these are wings. There's actually two of them in there and I'm not going to use these for obvious reasons because I don't need it. And uh, there's two of these wings that will screw on to this on each side, something like that, to extend it if you have wider mounting holes. And they have the hardware to screw these on too, but we're not going to do that. This is going to be. Uh, a lot easier. So, um, what I'm going to do is unscrew this. I recommend using a regular screwdriver and not a screw gun for this because screw guns have like super brute force. Um, you have adjustments on them, you can set the clutch to be very gentle, but you know, wherever these screws don't go in that far, so it's better just to do hand tighten with the mount going into the electronics. Now when we uh, work on the wall, which you'll see in a minute or so, we're going to use a drill and a driver for that. Put the anchors on the wall and we're going to match that up soon. So for now, we're just going to put this in, okay? So the hooks are going to be facing down, okay? And these little wing stick out things, hopefully you can see all this, are going to be down position. Okay, so kind of like we got easy. This monitor is pretty heavy, um, so it seems a little odd how everything's going to be focused on this little mount, but um, it should work. And I'm not going to be swinging this out that much. Okay, so. This is ready. There's the mount. Okay, is the top of the monitor, bottom. And again, once this goes on the wall, I'm gonna show it. Actually, let me take the screws out of this. Okay, so I took the, uh, the screws out here so we can see. So as it hangs on the wall, this will be on the wall right here in my hand. And the monitor is going to go in. The monitor is going to go in like this. Okay, that's sliding down, and then we're going to put the, uh, the screws in there and tighten it up. That's how the monitor affixes to the bracket. Pretty simple. Sorry, I keep moving the camera out of the way. So, pretty simple. There we go. All right, there's a lot of play in there. So, um, next step, let's get this uh, anchor on the wall. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is mount this temporarily onto the monitor so we can see where on the wall to put this. Okay, I'm gonna set this almost the most collapsed position right so we're not gonna we're not going to put the mount exactly where you think the center of the monitor is the, the mount is slightly off um, looking from the back it's off to the right but when we flip it it's going to be off to the left so what we're going to do is mount this a little bit off center from where we want to monitor. Okay, time to mark the area. So I'm gonna hold this up against the wall 
probably easier if I use a Sharpie because I can just swing the, uh, the Sharpie over. It's hard for me to hold this and, and mark it. So actually this is a regular marker. <laughs> Definitely gonna leave a mark that I can't miss. Let's get this ready. First, I'm gonna hold this against the wall while I'm sitting down just to get an idea how far down I'm gonna keep it from the shelf above. Let's see. And actually, uh, maybe two inches down. So that looks about good. Slightly away from my the mic mount. Okay, two inches down. Yeah, this is where having a helper would definitely come in handy. And I'm stubborn, so I really want to do this quickly and not wait for help. So, actually I'm going to extend this a little bit out. Okay, it stays in basically the same area. there and yeah okay so I made my mark and that is my first hole and take this out of my hand so I don't start walking up the pillows and everything around here all right so that's where I'm actually gonna draw the first screw hole I'm gonna take this off and actually mark the second hole now Okay, as you see, I put a towel here with some tape so it doesn't get in between the towel and the wall. When I drill these holes, it's going to make a lot of dust. Okay, so I'm going to take a Sharpie and take out a mount. All right, and we're going to take a level. Okay, and just make sure this is level before we mark it fully. Now let's bring the hole down to my mark. Uh, swing it over so it becomes level. Okay. And make a full circle in there. And let's see. Move it a bit so we just did the top. Be a bit sensitive. And that's why it's nice to have this slot on the bottom because you have play. You can swing this back and forth a bit. So I'm going to mark the whole part of the hole. So I'm marking the oval. Okay. And all right. So I'm going to drill right in the middle of that. This way, when we put the mount on, we can move it um, to either side to level it out. And do that straight on. All right, and so I'm gonna use my own anchors, and these are togglers. These are a quarter inch. All right, and I have, I grabbed a whole bunch, just in case one messes up. And uh, so these are quarter inch, I'm gonna need a quarter inch drill. And so we're going to drill. If there's a stud behind here, then we don't need the anchors really. But if it's hollow, uh, we'll use the anchors. And so we'll see what happens. And I'm going to get my uh, number two Phillips head bit ready. That's the most popular size, so I like buying a, uh, a whole bunch of them. You'll see like it says, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, oh, it says pH two, so it's a number two bit. We're gonna get that ready. Okay, let's drill the two holes. 
Now you don't want to like drill them and ream them out and make them too wide. You just want to make them perfect enough for the anchor. So set it. Alright. Feels like it's laminated, which means there's two layers of sheetrock here. And we're going to drill that right in the middle. Be careful if you touch the drill bit. Sometimes it can be hot. This is sheetrock. It really doesn't make it that hot, but... have the holes drilled and let's get the anchors ready it's good to have a hammer to hammer these in and these actually have little wings on them so they don't spin when you uh, drive the screw in there so I didn't bring my hammer up so uh, let's see if we can find the tool to knock that in I'll use my pace We have this ready. Put a screw in. First hole. I like sticking it through the hole to get it started. And then you go see. Before you get too crazy, I um, I start the second one just in case the hole doesn't line up perfectly. Actually, you can move this out of the way in a little bit. All right, you hear that hammer action. It's uh, usually a good sign. All right, that's in tight. It looks a little crooked, so let's put the level on it and see. Yeah, sound a bit. Loosen this. This is tapered, where one side is narrower than the other, that'll throw the level off, and, and that's what I, I'm thinking it might be. So, this shows that it could go back to the left a bit, slightly out. tight. Now let's mount the monitor and remember we're going to put in the finish screws afterwards. So let me see if we can get a super duper good angle. on and slide it down. Put this out of the way for now. Slide this back. Okay. So far so good. And uh, I'm going to pull this back and I'm going to put the screws in for the tilt and to tighten it to finish it off. So let's do that now, and I have one standing by here. The washer fell off, so I'm gonna let this loose for a second. And, uh, put this light on, and it helps so you can see better. All right, so we're gonna put in the screw on this side. All right. Don't recommend using the screw gun for this. Use a regular screwdriver. Ain't it Phillips head number two? Okay. Let's see if I can get that in the middle. All right. Nice firm tight. 
tightening on that. And we're gonna do the other side. And remember, you can tilt this left or right. Even though I tighten the screw back there, it still has give where you can adjust it either way. So, again, we're gonna do the other side. tilting down too much or up we can always adjust that all right so there you go uh, I'm not gonna watch this in when I'm in bed it's just gonna be for basically to hold it right up against the wall it's all I wanted and um, okay so now let's take this off get that out of the way yell that girlfriend So there we go. We have the monitor up on the bracket. Looks pretty good. Now I have some space here to, uh, you know, make these a lot neater. My electronics, and um, there you go. So if this helped you out, I appreciate you. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I got a lot of great how-to videos. You learned how to use the quarter-inch anchors from Toggler's. I'll put all the stuff I used in the description below. Thanks for watching.